Our next guest is a Tony Award-winning playwright and performer who you know from her work on Broadway and Sell By Date and Bridge and Tunnel. Her new film, Sell By Date, inspired by her Broadway show, is available now on demand. Let's take a look. Okay, look, I know everybody's upset. I mean, not just us, everybody on both sides of this debate. Is sex work empowering? Is it exploitation? There's no way to win. So, Sarah Jones, we've pooled our money, which is really the last of your money, and we're getting you off the grid. So you Wait, can take Narita, some time. I really appreciate this. I'm sorry I've been such a mess. And now it seems like overnight, everything's a tomato, even though I still don't understand exactly what's going on. Have you seen the tweets? What do I need, a bodyguard now? Please welcome back to the show our friend Sarah Jones, everybody. So you were here in 2016 for your Broadway show. Uh, this is the film adaptation of it, but it's a very novel way to adapt it because it is a film about the reaction to the fact that you were going to adapt your play into a film. <laughs> Did everybody follow? There's, yeah. gonna, there's gonna be a test. Oh, okay, good. Um, so yes, I, you know, we, I did this play and you met some of the people just now, you saw the clip. I was here last time, Seth. I don't know if you remember I me. Do. Now I do. Now I do. You seem you seem very familiar now. I, yeah. Listen, because it was the before times. I don't know how any of us are still here. Anyway, so <laughs> Lorraine and the other characters from the play migrated into this movie. We had this announcement that was very splashy. We we're going to do a movie based on the you know sort of inspired by the play, and then all hell broke loose. Basically, there was a backlash because the play talks about women and sex and power and, you know, all the things that are relevant that we all just, I mean, one of the characters in the movie, actually, who was in the play. Hi, Seth, my name's Bella. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm just, like, super stoked to be here right now. And also, like, as a member of Gen Z, just, like, you're welcome for, like, <laughs> saving, like, all of you collectively. <laughs> anyway, so Bella and all of us, as we started to do this movie, there was a backlash on social media you're not allowed to talk about this. We're going to cancel you. We're going to shut you down. And I and all my characters were like, what, what now? <laughs> um, it was just kind of like, oh, but I'm trying to talk about an important topic, you know? And then it strikes me that maybe if there was an upside to the backlash, it must have helped you take it as seriously as you do when you went to make this film. Yes, I mean, first of all, the play tried to, you know, look at different sides of a topic that, let's face it, it's taboo, but it's everywhere. Right? People are like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. Have you seen your kid's phone? Because yeah. I'm sorry, but everybody's browsing history is like, just a second, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know? um, and we're human beings and sex is normal. And you know, we we're ready to, we need to be ready to talk about all of this. And so in the play, I presented a lot of different viewpoints, but when it was time to do the movie, people were afraid that I was an outsider, and maybe I'm not allowed to talk about it. And I sort of felt like they were like, uh, you're gonna give me that mic. And I was like, wait, wait, I'm trying to hold the mic up to your mouth. Don't break my wrist. It's gonna ruin the whole thing. So I think really my goal was to do the topic justice. And I think we don't realize how close this topic is to all of us. I mean, like the Barbie doll is actually based on a German prostitute from World War II. I promise you, I did not know that. <laughs> all, all through my Barbie experiences, I wasn't kind of like, this is me. You know, like, it, anyway, so I think it's interesting. And I feel like, you know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the way you build your characters, the way you've always done it, is by talking to people, is by listening to people, whether it's to, you know, learn uh, the way they talk or learn their experiences. And I know uh, you talk to activists and advocates and lawyers, and you built a breadth of people that you could then bring to the experience. So, yes. You're the only one talking, but there are, because of the way you've always performed, there are a litany of voices. That's what I wanted people to understand is that I come from this multicultural family in the first place where all my characters come from. One who's in the movie, Nereda. You know, first of all, hi, Seth. I'm sorry, I haven't been here before, but um, I'm half Dominican, half Puerto Rican, all proud. Sarah Jones <laughs> didn't want me to come out here because she knows when I'm nervous, I start to talk really fast. Nobody can understand anything I'm saying, but I'm sorry, I just had to come in here because I wanted to represent. Anyway, I'm going to stop. But I just wanted to say that actually, because the movie is about women and sex and power and all of us, you know, like, this is the kind of thing that hopefully people will 
I mean, maybe it'll make your Thanksgiving conversation a little bit more spicy, but <laughs> you, we, we really have to be able to talk about all of this stuff anyway. So yes, all of my characters, the goal was to talk to activists, to talk to people who are experienced, whether they are, you know, kind of advocates or lawyers or people, listen, I learned so much about kind of the sex industry. We don't think of it this way, but even a wholesome family who goes to Hooters and takes their kids, eh, you're having your wings, but there's a side of sex industry with those <laughs> yeah. wings, you know? So for all of us, I think on the journey, I got to learn from other people. It, I, didn't, I don't want people to come to this thinking it's only Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. We love the thigh high boots, <laughs> um, but you know, there's more to it than that. And it's also not, I don't want to stigmatize and slut shame women for the stuff that guys are like, Ugh. you know, it's like, all right, let's actually have a bigger conversation. You, uh, your mom was in the film. Was it tough to convince her to do it? <laughs> so speaking of Thanksgiving, uh, uh, does anybody have an extra place this year? <laughs> no, no, it actually, my mom's amazing. She's an OBGYN uh, herself. So she cares about, you know, health and women's health and all the stuff that's happening in the country. And so I remember just saying, mom, be yourself. People think we scripted the stuff. When you see this movie, my mom, you'll understand why I'm in therapy. <laughs> um, but she's also amazing. But there is one scene, I won't give it away, but let's just say you never want to turn and hear your mom say, is that person wearing a strap on? It was not standard, standard mother-daughter no, conversation. It's but... not a bound, it's not like a, a mother-daughter bonding jury a lot of people take. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a different one, it's a little different, but yeah. I do believe people are, you know, ready to have kind of more open, you know, relationship to all of this stuff. You know, we're all so polarized and it can be so easy to kind of feel like we just shouldn't talk about anything, but that just makes it worse. So hopefully this movie is a way for people to enter into the conversation. We joke that it's a, it's a wonderful holiday gift. The holidays yes. are coming cheaper than socks and there you uh, go. hopefully more substantive. There you go. I think that's a great argument for that. And thank you so much for being here and for making the film and for doing everything you do on stage as well. Sarah Jones, Sell by Date, available on demand on Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV. We'll be right back with more Late Night.